Hi everyone, I'm Amy and this is Upsize Down. Um, last week, Dan went to Quebec to drop off the Millennial to its forever home and we wanted to give you a clip of the installation, but Daniel did not have the help of the females in the office. So we are receiving new footage of that for you, but here's a sneak peek. We're hooked up, tow truck's here, it's ready to go. We're off to the back and wait. Got the banner in the back window. And there we go. We are off, downsize your home, you too. Too bad they can't read it. Awesome job. We'll see you in Quebec. Bienvenue, welcome, Quebec. Woohoo! We've been driving all day. Focus on me now. Halfway there. We have been driving all day oh and we're barely past halfway. While wow, Ontario is a big province and then Quebec's even bigger and we gotta cross it yet. So we're most likely gonna be stopping somewhere tonight and actually delivering everything first thing in the morning. The truck driver can only do 12 hours in the day and with the traffic he's hit, he's probably gonna hit 12 hours before he actually gets to our destination. So. Yeah, looks like we'll be uh, first thing in the morning. We are here in the driveway. Um, it's morning, we slept in the truck. And we are... It was so comfortable. Yeah, so comfortable. We are just going down this 15 kilometer driveway. However long it is. Gorgeous property though. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, is that the hill he wants us to <laughs> <laughs> That's big. Uh, the hill down is what he should be worried about, though. I think. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. Sweet. This is like in between all the mountains, eh? Yeah. That's the new owner in front of us. Yeah. Guiding us down this driveway. Seems like a good owner for the millennial. So we made it here. Uh, this is not quite where it's gonna stay. We're gonna move it, or the owners are gonna move it a few hundred meters that way in a few weeks. But we're gonna set everything up here. All the stuff that's on the ground's gotta go inside. Hook up all the off-grid equipment that we've prepped. We've now learned now that we've finally hit a scale with this thing that we could have put most of this in there beforehand and still been okay. And uh, here are the new owners, Benoit and Dion. And they're gonna enjoy this immensely. So let's get to work. Hey everybody, we're done the install. It's been a harrowing two days. I don't know about harrowing, tiring. Um, there's a few issues that we've had with the install that have made things take a little bit longer. There's a few other items we have to order yet, but all in all, a really good install. It's been awesome. And I mean, hey, you can't beat this view. The view that you're getting right now is what the new owners of the Millennial are going to get from their rooftop patio when we're done or when they're done but if you want to pan around there Colin and look the other way right now this road is collapsing so they're building a new road through there and so when the new road is done the Millennial will sit right here and then they get that right view that there. we were looking at so let's go take a look at what it looks like now so we're only a few hundred meters away but this is where the Millennial sits right now uh, temporarily until they get that road built. Now they think it's only gonna be three weeks, so 
we'll leave that to them and see how that works. But this natural new tree is here, this awesome. So this is our first solar install. And after a lot of research and talking to a whole lot of different people and then the panels that we originally ordered are still stuck at the US border. So we went out and bought six more, spent thousands more dollars. But hey, we got the stuff we needed and we got it installed and we got it working. But what was hard in the last few days is some of the stuff that we were supposed to be installing, we didn't because it's still stuck at the border. So we had to learn a little bit more about uh, someone else's technology to get it to work. Now, thankfully the concept is all the same. It's just how they certain things operate is a little bit different. So let's show you how this works. So we only have four panels right now. There are six, but you can see they are quite a bit in the shade because of the trees here. Uh, we didn't bother installing the other two. Uh, when the millennial moves, so will the panels and they will be in full sunlight all day long. So we talked to the new owners about how to move this and how to install it again. So they'll put all six together later. Uh, two are running in series and two in series. And then the other two that aren't here will be in series. And those three groups run in parallel. They go here to a combiner box so that all the wires can come in. I've taped everything with red and white and red and white everywhere all the way back to um, actually right to the AC breaker panel just so that the new owner knows exactly what's going on and that he can't screw it up when he moves stuff. So all that combines and we go in this one inch uh, Loctite quick tight um, tube here all the way back to the home. So let's go see where that ends up. <laughs> We we're gonna change these Moretz. Oh yeah. We got a disconnect here in Moretz. So that's coming from the panels and comes to this box and now we're going into the house. So let's go see that because it was really tricky. This was a renovation kind of because this house was not meant, was not designed to have this much power running through it. So we didn't have the space to put some of the stuff that we wanted to. So we were very ingenious about this. At least I like to think I'm ingenious. So just from there, look from there. What we have here is we took the bottom drawer out of the cabinets and I put magnets on them. Uh oh, uh oh. And it covers the batteries and then the other drawer fits in. We've left the other drawer out now just so that we can see what's going on. We've got two 5.12 kilowatt hour batteries, lithium ion. And if you sneak in the back there is the controller where the batteries are, um, whoop, there we go. There's a controller and that's where the um, panels are coming into and then they come into the batteries. And then behind this plate here, we have the inverter, really nice inverter. Um, so the batteries are going through the inverter to go back to uh, 120 volt for the house. The batteries themselves are 48 volt. And then up here, these orange cables here um, are a connection from what we used to have as what we would call shore power. And what we've done now is done a com uh, combiner box here, just in, a, in an octagon box, so that the generator plug now goes to the inverter as well. So when we plug a generator in, it will not only charge the batteries, but it'll also run the house for a bit. And then it goes back from the inverter back to the AC panel again. So. Hey, you can see the lights are on. Everything's working pretty good. It's amazing. We've got some water. So this whole house is completely off grid now. I think this is, this is really awesome. We're literally in the middle of a massive forest. This property is about 4,000 acres and we're in the middle of it. It's awesome out here, but there is no power. There's no running water. So everything's off grid and it works. And I think that's pretty awesome. We're also giving our owners a user manual for their house. It's rather thick, but it's got all the instruction manuals and user manuals for all the different equipment. This one's obviously a little bit thicker because of all the off-grid and solar stuff that's in here. But every one of our homes is gonna get something like this as well. Awesome. So here's the Malele, everybody. This is the last time we're gonna see it. And yeah, it's kind of, this was the first build that we did, so it's kind of, uh, teary-eyed as we get rid of it but you know we've got some good new owners and I really like that this last minute thing to do a bunch of renovations to make this off-grid oh 
The last thing, the one thing, other thing that we did is we always talked about moving this fridge. It used to stick way out, but if you come around here, Colin, um, the fridge used to stick way out because of the wheel wells. So what we've done now is we built up with another cabinet and put this on top of the wheel well so it can push all the way against the wall. And this just really opens up this space uh, quite a lot more. And I like it. So if you want another Millennial, we can build one with all these modifications already done to it. And if you want to go off grid, I know a lot more than I did a few months ago. So we can help you get that done.